So you see the channel's dead. You are continually asking Tehran what the hell's going on. And I finally have answers. Now, for those who are dealing with a dead channel or are scared that their channel might pretty much end up like mine, 350,000 subscribers and what my average view is maybe what, 5K? And it's horrible, you know, I used to average about 20 to 30 and times have changed, the algorithm changes and I'm learning to deal with it over the years. You know, I've, I've honestly been through a deep depression about my channel because this has been a money maker for me uh, over the years. And as things start to decline, you know, less offers come, less sponsorships come, and there's not really much trust in my subscriber fan base. Now, I have continually done research over the years and found out the reasons why my channel has come to the death that you see now. And is there a way to rebirth it Honestly, I have not seen a channel yet. Out of all the videos I have studied, researched, channels talking about how to revive a dead channel, I have not seen any channel at all make itself back. There's one guy that um, I've watched for a while, my boy Travi. He has made like three, four different channels and it's just, you know, he just kind of gave it to me straight up. You know, it just, it just be like that sometimes. And the reason why, the reason why that happens is because mainly, especially for me, your niche, you make videos out of your niche, especially it's bad if you make videos out of your niche that go viral. So let's say, you know, this channel was based off of my fitness stuff with Goku Flex, you know, collab stuff. And let's say the Comic-Con videos that I do. Majority of all my Comic-Con videos are over 100,000 views but they have nothing to do with fitness. You understand what I'm saying? So the subscribers that I get from the Comic-Con video kind of um, push away, you know, the my channel being a fitness channel. And so the algorithm of YouTube doesn't know what my subscribers are mainly interested in because if, if, if these videos are going viral, YouTube wants you to be like, okay, we'll make more of these videos. You know, understand what I'm saying? And then in, not only that, you know, I have viral videos with, with Comic-Con, with Larry Wills, um, some videos with myself, you know, with females and, um, you know, maybe some challenges, some fitness challenges and stuff. But the, the niche is just bouncing everywhere, you know, especially with vlog stuff as well. So YouTube wants you to stay within your niche because it has to read on what your subscribers are, what they watch from other channels. And once you go out of that, it it messes up the algorithm and you it, it doesn't know who to send your videos to. Let's say for example, um, okay, I put out a video, fitness video, fitness vlog, you know, for people that are interested in my fitness vlogs. What if YouTube, YouTube only sends out a small amount at first. When you upload a video, it only sends out a small amount. So that small amount could have been sent to the people that were interested in the videos with me and a female. You know, those videos do, do good. Or with um, my Comic-Con people, those videos do good. And, but those people aren't gonna be interested in the main source of what started my channel. Right. Even though those videos might have they might have got good views, they weren't like the viral videos that YouTube kind of wants you to push out. And that's what kind of messes it up, because the click rate on those videos are very low. So YouTube just says, hey, your audience isn't interested in this video, so we're not going to push it out even more. And that's pretty much what happens. If you go out of your niche, YouTube is going to continually say, this is not the type of content we want you to make. It's as much as as much as I wanted to be on YouTube and be like, I'm just going to make whatever, you know, I still want to do good. Right. Everybody wants to do good. Everybody wants to develop on this um, on this on YouTube. And you kind of you can't do what you want to do. You pick a category and you stick with it. You know, that's simple as that. You know, that's why I have to separate um, my Comic Con stuff. Uh, in anime stuff, from my gaming stuff, from my fitness stuff, you know, I can I can somewhat get away with fitness lifestyle altogether because fitness is a lifestyle. But when it comes to those other things that are part of my lifestyle, they're still out of my niche, and I can't add that in 
you know, to this new channel. So I have a new channel that I've started over and even from the beginning, I'm already seeing a lot of progress. Um, so if you haven't seen that channel, it's in the description. Definitely follow the new channel. If you are an OG subscriber, you're definitely going to love this channel. It's more about my, you know, lifestyle and fitness, you know, heavy lifting, my collabs, things like that. Um, I'm keeping all the extra other stuff out of it. This is like a pure fitness lifestyle channel, um, vlog stuff. So you dot, you guys will definitely enjoy it. So please hit that subscription button on the new channel. I'm trying to get to 10,000 by the end of this year. I think that's very reasonable since I have 350 subs 350,000 subscribers on this channel. So uh, please do your boy a favor and support on that channel. Now with this channel, I'll be experimenting to see what does work. Cause only I feel like over the past few months, years, I've been everywhere. Even with rugby, I forgot my rugby playlist is, has done great. The views on my rugby playlist have done great. So once again, something that you th I would think, you know, cause it, it's sports related, it's still not fitness related in a way. Um, and people, some people were interested that were older subscribers. Some people, a lot of people weren't. And that's the thing. My fan base for this channel is just everywhere and YouTube doesn't know who to push out my videos to, what type of videos that my fan base wants to see. Um, so once again, if you have the same issue, you know, it's possibly might be time to start a new channel and just kind of niche down. And, um, but once again, I, I'm not here to tell you that there's a way to revive the channel because I don't know. I'm still going to experiment with this channel and post different types of video to see what pops off for me. Um, and, and yeah, but it's just kind of simple and plain. And, uh, once again, hit that like button, subscribe to the new channel and, um, I'll have more kind of tips and tricks um, that I've been studying and finding out for YouTube for other creators, you know, people that are starting out or people that have been doing it a while are in the same position as me. So definitely keep up with your boy and uh, I'll catch you guys later.